Hello and welcome. Today we are testing out Sliver Storm-ish. It's a red-green version, so usually you see uh, white-green versions of Slivers. But with the prevalence of Fogtron kind of everywhere, um, that deck seems a little bit suspect to me when you can just die to your opponent fogging you out. So I wanted a deck with a little bit more reach um, in a way that has like kind of a combo kill. So Bladeback Sliver is a new card from Modern Horizons that lets all of your slivers, if you're hellbent, tap for damage to the opponent. So if your opponent's trying to like flicker you out, you just put a Bladeback Sliver into play and then ping them to death. Seems really sweet. Um, alongside that, you get Heart Sliver. Um, so this is kind of why I'm saying it's kind of Sliver Storm. It gives all your slivers haste, which is really good with Gem Hide Sliver because um, they all tap for mana. So basically you can cast all of your one mana slivers like in a big chain and just cast them all and then the rest are all two mana so you can really deploy your hand very quickly with this combo and then i don't think it's worth running four because it is a two mana one one and it doesn't really stack well so we're just running three heart slivers uh striking sliver is also a really really good addition that you get when you're playing red as opposed to white giving everything first strike means we have a really nice late game game plan, which is have a bunch of slivers in play. And we got like the things that pump our team. They all have first strike. So it's very hard for our opponent to attack into them. And then we can just ping our opponent at the end of turn, untap, deploy our hand. So it seems pretty nice. And that's more or less the play patterns we're going for. Our deck has 34 creatures. So Winding Way is likely to hit two or more creatures every time we cast it which for a two mana card to draw two creatures i can't ask for more and then lead the stampede is likely to hit three or more creatures so also just a completely busted card i feel like these cards are way better than i initially thought and after casting them just hitting four creatures off winding way is a feeling unlike any other so that's the main deck uh the mana Seems fine to me. We got 13 green and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 red. Maybe the mana needs a little bit of work, but we really want all our lands to be untapped. And we have gem hide sliver for mana fixing as well. So we, we really want to play a turn one creature. Um, maybe that could be one thing to look at for the next build. But onto the sideboard, we got four essence warden because this deck is not as fast as burn usually um so this is like kind of a way to try and gain life i'm trying at least right now a sideboard of all creatures that way winding way and lead the stampede don't get worse after sideboarding so we just have like some utility creatures um against delver we're bringing in three spinneret slivers or any deck with flyers really just to give all our stuff reach um because then we can you know first strike reach pretty good uh, against Tron, we bring in four of these, or two of these, so we have four, um, so that way we don't really care about attacking too much. Very Macabre for a graveyard hate, and then some pingers because we don't have any removal. Um, so against like Tireless Tribe combo, and probably against Delver, we bring in the pingers too, just to like kill some creatures or go face. Um, gives us a reach with Blade Back Sliver as well. So that's the deck. Uh, really fun to play. You should definitely try it out. And I have to thank my Discord for kind of motivating me to play Slivers. They've been testing some like pretty crazy like Sliver Storm builds that maybe you'll see in the next iteration once we fine tune it. But if you're interested, join my Discord. Uh, see you guys in the games. All right, we are playing against Nameless 101. Tell our opponent good luck, have fun as always. We win the die roll, perfect. Uh, yeah, Ten looks good. We need to draw. Like a winding way or lead the stampede but that's kind of how every game goes is like if we can draw a winding way lead the stampede we just win and we're gonna play automaton because metallic sliver lets them know for sure what we're doing automaton is a little bit less obvious if they're just windscarred cragging that's cool with me so we're gonna go gem hide sliver into uh metallic sliver now that they now that the gig is up this plays around Echoing Decay or something? I don't know. This looks like Boros Tokens, probably. So we need to draw like another Muscle Sliver, ideally. Another Automaton, okay. Well, we're about to hit for a bunch of damage next turn. Play the Automaton. Play the Automaton. And I'm going to save this Gemhide Sliver because I think hitting for two damage is 
kind of more important. And if they don't have anything, we just swing for a million damage next turn. And we're set up to just go crazy if we draw like Winding Way or lead the Stampede. Also, if we draw Blade Black Sliver, we can just ping them for 100,000. Although that seems less necessary because we're just going to attack. Coarse Skyfisher. All right, we need a Muscle Sliver off the top. That would be incredibly good here. Or let's just draw lead the Stampede. Not being too greedy here. Mountain was not great. So I can swing out and I can hit for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That seems fine. I trade away my gem hide sliver, but they take so much. And I have a backup. And I'm just going to play Mountain. We're at 13. So again, Muscle Sliver is our best draw, but Bladeback Sliver is good. Lead the Stampede, Winding Way, all those. If they have a second creature, then we're in trouble, especially if they have like a lightning bolt. Prism is fine. Lightning bolt scares me. Oh. Okay. They bounce Radiant Fountain. So they're at effectively, I think Radiant Fountain gains two, so they're at 15. It's probably not worth throwing away a creature at this point. Oh, that's good. That's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Predatory Sliver. Uh, muscle Sliver. Yeah, all right, all right. On to sideboarding. So they are Boros Bully. Um, I kind of like Spinneret Sliver in this matchup because we could just like block all their dudes. Or not Boros Bully, they're like just Boros. Hmm, what do I like in this matchup? I want at least one Spinneret Sliver. The Haste Sliver seem not as good on the draw, so... Maybe I just cut those for like some beefier spinneret slivers. I won't be able to go off as big, but I don't want to like commit to something and then have them like bolt my creature, bolt my creature, like trickery in my board. So I'd rather have some like 2 2 slivers that don't die. Uh, is there anything else I can cut? Spinneret sliver is fine. All these are 2 2s. Maybe I cut some of my 1 drop slivers just to put in some blade backs. Go a little bit more mid range. I could see that working. Cut some of the like. No, that was actually kind of good. I think I'm just going to cut one, and we're going to do that. I don't want to make my curve too bad. Always with the one-landers. We got to mulligan this. So we can keep this. Mm. And we're on the draw, so what do I get rid of? Probably this vir virulent sliver, because we keep this. Because green man is kind of a concern. Sure. I like it otherwise, but making green is a little bit challenging. Turn one Radiant Fountain is interesting. It's a lot of metallic slivers. All right, we're going to go with the same play as the last time. Uh, I don't want to just run out like a naked gem hide sliver, so we're going to play this. If I draw green mana, great. If I don't, then I can get green and play a metallic sliver. And that's not so bad. There you go. Uh, kind of feel like doing this. I don't want to run out all these one ones into like a potential electricery. It's just scary. If I draw a Muscle Sliver, I'll feel a bit more comfortable. Skyfisher, sure. So we need like a Winding Way, Forest. Um, I honestly don't want to play anything here. Let's just go with a single Metallic Sliver. I can't attack and I can't really block, which is rough. But we have a lot of land, so I can just hold some Slivers in hand until I draw a way to like pump my team. Yep. Okay, well we're going to Ash Barons for red. There you go. Winding Way is kind of what we needed here. So let's do that. Winding Way naming creature. Sweet. Bladeback Sliver is kind of gas. So I think now I will play Gem Hide into Bladeback. They can elect Trickery three creatures, um, but I still have quite a few more. Red, red for Bladeback. Pass turn. This is a hard game. One one of the muscle slivers would help a lot because then I wouldn't be as scared of electricery or something like that. Okay. I feel like if they had it, that would have been the turn. But maybe they're just playing slow. There we go. That's the one. Muscle sliver. So they can go bolt electricery. That's kind of a concern. This is actually kind of challenging because I have to be hellbent for this to work. Yeah, I don't know about this. We're going to go virulent sliver. I think now is the time to just commit. If they have it, they have it. If they don't have it, then they don't have it. Uh, 
I'm going to tap this one. Now I can start pinging them. Go ahead. I'm really scared of end of turn bolt on muscle sliver. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yep, that's what I was afraid of. This is going to be pretty gruesome. <laughs> but we had to go for it. I don't think this deck plays... It doesn't play well scared. And that's the reason I didn't attack with like spinneret sliver. Um, it's just because of bolts. Oh, they don't have it. Oh my gosh, that is great. And that's why you just go for it sometimes. That is so good. I feel like they're actually just dead on board to these virulent slivers. Uh, deal one. It's risky. So I can swing out, but I lose to a lightning bolt. But they might lightning bolt. Yeah, they don't realize. Um, so they have two blockers, and I have one, two, or one, two, three, four. Yeah, they're actually just dead to poison. That's pretty good. Deal one, deal one, deal one. Yeah, that's plenty lethal, right? They block here, and I have five poisonous stacks. <laughs> good games, opponent. That was actually, we beat like a meta deck here with some dorky slivers. 12 poison. Oh no, it's exactly 10. All right. <laughs> See you guys next round. All right, we were playing against Mr. Meat Zombie. He's actually someone in my Discord, so this will be interesting. We're going to go first for sure. Uh, I don't think I can keep this. I can keep this. I can definitely keep this. That seems great. But I clicked keep, but maybe not. Um, What do I get rid of? This hand is so good, I don't want to get rid of anything. All these predatory slivers are great. Uh-oh. <laughs> they said it's not the best matchup. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I guess I get rid of striking sliver and just try and go beefy. Or, let's just get rid of gem hide, actually. It's just attack for damage. Striking sliver, go. Yep, here it goes. Oh god, is this... Turn one Ash Barons, Psycho Ash Barons, Forest, we'll see. I'm guessing this is a Sliver Mirror match or something, but we're just going to have so many big boys. And we have First Strike, because uh, I think Meat Zombie was one of the ones brewing Slivers in my Discord. We'll, we'll find out. Okay, it is. Perfect. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, and this is only you control, yeah, so let's go Predatory Sliver into attacking for six. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. I don't actually want to play Muscle Sliver because it helps everything. Good lord. Ooh, Mind Lash Sliver. That is int I guess it's just a one drop sliver in black. <laughs> this is, Sliver Mirror Matches are so weird. I think my opponent's actually just dead, but uh, no, they're not just dead. Yeah, they are, right? Yeah, they're just dead. But I want to tap properly here. Automaton, Virulent Sliver, hit for 12. <laughs> that was a very fast and scary start from the opponent, though. I love it. Can only sack one of my heart slivers. What? How can the opponent have lived? That would have been impressive. I guess we'll find out in match two. Um, against other slivers. What do I want to do? Uh, Spinneret sliver seems pretty bad. I don't know how they would have made him live, but I'll just say, oh, sweet. <laughs> I, I like being nice to people when I'm playing. Um, this feels like a Fire Slinger matchup. If they don't have ways to pump their slivers. We can catch them. This also just could be an Essence Warden matchup. Or just bring in some blade back slivers and just go deep. I like that. We'll just run it like this. I'm here for the ride. Oh man, this hand is good. I gotta keep this. I can't mulligan. I'm just one land away. And he's playing gem hide slivers as well. So like, if he plays a sliver that makes my slivers tap for mana, then I'm guaranteed two mana. And if I just draw a land, then I can just go off. Yeah, gem hide sliver helps a lot. This is <laughs> this is quite the uh, situation. So all my muscles livers pump 
everything. I can only really cast one sliver this turn. So let's go with Blade back. Because I can block everything at least. And I don't want to make their team bigger, because that's really scary. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. <laughs> also, double Virulent Sliver is not something that I enjoy playing against. Basal Sliver. That's a sweet one. You can just make a ton of mana with that card. Okay, we draw a land. That's quite good. So we can go... Striking Sliver is free. Then I think I want to go with Winding Way. Aiming creature. We just got a virulent sliver, but that's also free. And then we can play a blade back. Go. What does mind lash sliver do? Maybe I'm missing what that card is. Hang on. Oh, did I kill myself? <laughs> oh god, it hits every sliver. I totally forgot about Virulent Sliver, so they can just swing out and uh, kill me with poison. This is a weird matchup, because every sliver has three instances of poison as one. So every time I get hit by one, I take three poison. <laughs> Alright, uh, sure. We'll, uh, we'll block here. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Oh no! Oh, I actually could have lived. So I first strike down one of them, but now they only have two instances of poisonous. That was actually very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my plan was to, if they did that, first strike that one. If I just kept up another creature, we could have survived. Sliver mirror matches are weird. Really weird, man. Um, I think I'm going to bring in some fire slingers. I don't think playing uh, muscle sliver is worth it. So we're going to cut all of my muscle slingers for some pinging creatures so I can kill their stuff. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Virulent Sliver is a dumb card. <laughs> uh, let's go first. All right, all right. I can keep this one. The Stinger should help. Metallic Sliver, go. Uh, I'm pretty scared to play Virulent Sliver, but it does help us like empty our hand faster. Sure, I'm not scared. One poison, go. Tell my opponent Virulent Sliver is a dumb card. <laughs> I already love this matchup though. <laughs> oh, it's so fast and so scary. Is this a gem hide sliver? No, it's not. Okay, just two duders. I dig it. Let's play Predatory Sliver and hit. They take some poison. They're at 13 as well. That's kind of a lot of damage. Okay, Gemhide Sliver makes it so I can cast all my creatures. It makes it so they can empty their hand too. I don't know how he draws Gemhide Sliver every game, but what is that art? I just noticed it's like a tree thing. It's kind of sweet. Right, they drew three Basal Sliver, Homing Sliver, and Mind Lash Sliver. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> what do we do here? So I can swing out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but I think I'm better off with the lead the stampede. Okay, so I can go striking sliver into fire slinger and just hope that works out. <laughs> uh, they got eight cards in hand, man, and they can go really deep with Basil Sliver. Plus, they can activate Homing Sliver, so they can Homing Sliver for the haste creature. Uh, I'm excited. All right, let's have six. So they give all slivers haste, then they Homing Sliver. Or no, yeah, they cast Basil Sliver, so they can sacrifice these two for a bunch of mana. God, this is getting in the way. Uh, I think they basically played everything in their hand. So they need, like, a, a way to draw a bunch of cards. Oh! <laughs> what did they hit? They hit four? Ah! Homing Sliver. I don't actually know. No, they only hit two. Uh... <laughs> so I was looking at this build of Sliver Storm while they hit another Winding Way. That missed a distant melody. My issue with this build of Sliver Storm is that Homing Sliver cannot find a sliver that generates card advantage as far as I'm aware. 
Otherwise, I would be down. Metallic Sliver. Okay. I mean, opponent has a lot of mana. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, that didn't do a whole lot. I guess it gave them untapped red. I don't actually remember what Basal Sliver does. Aw, oh, man. If, I think... If Homing Sliver... Yeah, if Homing Sliver could grab Torch or Melody, this deck would be super busted. Uh, we gotta think about this for a sec. We're gonna keep brewing with the deck. Um, this is my build because I think, um, GG. I think, uh, so my opponent's build, I, I'll show you that next time, I think. Um, I want to find a way to solve the problem that he was encountering where you can go off, but Winding Way and Lead the Stampede cannot grab Distant Melody. A Distant Melody is a busted card, but you can't find it, right? Uh, let's go to our deck, I guess, so I can talk about this for a second. Uh, what's the... The win con is um, Caravax Torch. It's not a creature. What is going on? Torch. <laughs> uh, Caravax Torch. Uh, that's the win con. So you just, like, Baseless Sliver, generate a ton of mana, fill the board, and then burn them with this. But there's no creature sliver that generates card advantage off of homing sliver so if we can find a way to maybe like there's a transmute creature that costs four that you could hit off lead the stampede that might exist uh demir house guard okay we could we can keep playing with this demir house guard you can transmute and you can hit it off lead the stampede and then, uh, Demir Infiltrator, you can transmute for Rolling Thunder. I like it. All right, we're going to keep playing. All right, playing against Parallax. Tell my opponent good luck, have fun. If I can type the smiley face properly. There we go, there we go. Let's go first. Being on the play is so gross with this deck. Uh, yeah. Turn one, Virulent. Turn two, Predatory. Let's do it. Into turn three, Winding Way, probably Universal Automaton. Snow covered tireless tribe. Okay. That's a little sketchy. Let's go mountain predatory. I'm okay blocking the tireless tribe with predatory sliver because if they play inside out, I'm I could just die anyway. They discard it inside out, so they must have two, and they also have white out. So they need a way to get through my creatures. I really need to play Universal Automaton. That way they can't like Give stuff protection from creatures. Gemhide was a great pickup. Uh, let's add green, green um, for predatory sliver into automaton. Pass turn. And uh, that, I might be able to like kill them next turn. We'll see. That's 14 damage right now, I think. 15 damage. Seeker of the way, sure. It's interesting seeing a tireless tribe combo without uh, blue. Because they're missing Shadow Rift, which is like one of the best, one of the best ones. So we can go Winding Way, naming creature. Oh boy, uh, let's play. Um, I don't want to get my Predatory Sliver killed, but I can go. Actually, what happens if I play Predatory? No, we're just gonna play all of them. I think. Let's go Heart Sliver into. Let's tap these two for a predatory sliver and then tap that predatory sliver for a universal automaton and just attack like this um i want colorless creatures back because they could have like target creature gains protection so having red and that back makes sense although i guess i'd rather attack with the heart sliver than the virulent sliver and then they're just like very dead next turn Interesting. Uh, I would much prefer to kill Tireless Tribe, so we'll do that. They can discard a card, but then they lose a card. Maybe I died a team or battle rage? That could be an option. I don't know, I guess attacking there was maybe just wrong. They can give it pro green and then bolt my automaton. Actually, yeah, if they go... They would need a really particular hand here, but they could go like... Scred, give this pro green. And then inside out. Could do it. Hmm. I guess they figured this is their shot to go for it. Because they have white out, but now I don't think they have the mana to do it all. Because they would need red, red 
Unless they have a that card that gives pearl artifacts. All right, so they're just dead, I think. Uh, they have three blockers. I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So I can hit them for twelve. It's not lethal. Um, I'm kind of okay trading here, I think, because then I can attack freely, and they like can't gain any life and stuff. So we need to play around um, protection from spells and stuff. So I need to keep back probably two blockers. So they can block two. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can swing for 24. <sighs> but then they only have to block with one Squadron Hawk. So I think I just attack like this. And then they die next turn. Wait, did I just have Lethal with Seeker of the Way? I think I've been playing this game whole completely wrong. So Seeker of the Way, I... No, because they could have just chump blocked with Squadron Hawk if I swung out. I think. Yeah, they could have just discarded a card. Okay. Moving on, we're bringing in all the ping boys. Uh, don't really care about reach, but I guess it kind of matters. What don't I care about? Haste is fine. Oh, haste is actually good with the pingers. I think I get rid of blade back and <sighs> gem hide is sweet, but maybe just not necessary. On the draw, I'm gonna get rid of one of these one mana plays and I'll lead the stampede. And then just hope to like ping them out and stuff. I don't think I can mulligan this, but I don't like it. It really needs a one mana sliver. I mean, two muscle sliver into winding way is great, but they could just kill me turn two if they have a uh, inside out. So we're gonna play mount and make them scared. Make them think I have a gut shot or something. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, perfect. I also just realized that my haste sliver does not make my pingers have haste. It only makes slivers have haste. So that seems kind of pointless. Squadron Hawk, okay. Hawking it up. Uh, so they're willing to trade a Hawk for the Automaton. That seems bad. As soon as I play Muscle Sliver, I can block. Let's go Muscle Sliver. Oh, I was supposed to Ash Barons. That might actually cost me. So no attacks. Here's where I just die to Hawks. Ooh. Okay. Still take two. That's so many lands. Stop. Please. Forest. So we're going to uh, get a mountain. I mean, the benefit of all these lands is there's less lands in our deck. And it's like, stop. I don't like this. It's not fun. Uh, so Inside Out takes red mana, so they can't actually get us with it. But we're like kind of dying here. They're not playing a hawk. What is going on? Red. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. So let's play Winding Way. If this hits lands, I'm gonna be so sad. Creature. Come on! <laughs> what is this game trying to do to me over here? All right, go ahead. Whoa, it did hit lands. How many lands are, what, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 out of 19 in the top 16. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of ridiculous. I love it, but it is ridiculous. All right, hasty boy, get in there. And we got to play out our lands because we could go like lead the stampede into Winding Way. Unfortunately, I actually cut my lead the stampede. Uh oh, Firebolt is problematic. Yep, we take this damage. And they have white out in their graveyard. Okay, we just keep making these trades, I guess. <laughs> They're going to Firebolt the Predatory Sliver. So I'm gonna attack with both of these because if they have Inside Out, I need at least one blocker. And yeah, that makes sense. All right, so we basically have drawn like most of the lands in our entire deck. So now Winding Way and the Leading Stampede are just the nuts. What is three mana? Flashback looting, sure. They have multiple whiteouts, double tireless tribe. Okay, that makes things worse for us. Heart sliver. Uh, I can't really attack now. Like, I kind of have to, but I also can't. So let's just pass turn. I'm going to hold this forest in hand, that way they don't know what's going on. It makes them have to play around stuff. Yeah. It's not going well. Come on, deck, lead the stampede. Oh, that's kind of great, actually. I like that one. 2-2 two, two first strike, so now I think I can attack with a heart sliver. Um, 
they can like block it a bunch. Do I attack with this as well? I think so. They would have to double block with Tireless Tribe and discard two cards to kill it. Do I also attack with the, this? No, I need that Heart Sliver. I think I'm gonna attack like this. But, oh, protection, gotcha. Well, that was gonna get me anyway. Yeah, so Kill Fiend kills that. I no longer have first strike. That is fine, but now I'm in a bad situation because they can give something protection from something. I'm down to 12 life. Yep. Uh, I think I'm dead to Team or Battle Rage now. I don't think I could play around it anyway. Oh, just Trample. That's not so bad. So they have a Whiteout, but they can't cast it. If they have a single white spell, I just die. But do I ever win by double blocking here? I don't think so. Actually, I don't just die to a single white spell. Let's just block like this. I take eight. All right, we need lead the stampede real bad. I'll take it. That'll be very good. Um, I don't think I can attack. I'm at four life. And the stinger will really help me stabilize the board if they don't have anything here. Okay, swinging out, it's acceptable. Um, so I feel like they probably just have a lightning bolt on the predatory sliver already. Maybe I block like this. Because they, they bolt this sliver and then this dies. Then I still have automaton back. I take one. I don't love it, but this is what we're doing. They can't have inside out and teamer battle rage. Okay. I, that was weird. Ooh, okay. There we go. Finally. Getting somewhere. Uh, are they just dead? Why don't... <laughs> Do I go for it? I think... Let's see. So let's say they bolt a predatory sliver. I'm in this position. They take eight. Whew, we got there. That was actually a really, really interesting match. I don't know if you gain much from going red-white on Tireless Tribe. Uh, you gain Scred, Firebolt. I guess you just play like a mid rangey deck. I don't know. That was very close, though. See you guys next round. Oh, man, this list seems gas. We're on the draw, playing against Realm 2. I'm going to keep this. When I said this list, I meant this hand. Uh, just just any hand with a Winding Way and Lead the Stampede, I'm so happy about. Playing against Affinity. Affinity is a tough matchup because they can be faster than us. Um, I really kind of wish I had like a gem hide sliver or some type of accelerant here. Because like we can play a bunch of predatory slivers and that's fine. Um, but they can like bolt the predatory sliver and then things get a little bit sketchy. Yep, there's the, the Atog himself. Such a cool artwork though. I will say that about Atog. And the Springleaf drum. So they can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So honestly. Uh, they can kill us like pretty soon. I I don't think I'm gonna be blocking. Um, if they have the card that gives plus two plus two in trample or double strike in trample, like we're just dead, and that just happens. This is the downside of not running really any removal in your deck. I wonder if I should bring in some white for like flag bearers, because flag bearers would at least protect against team or battle rage. Battle rage. They wouldn't protect. No, they would protect against fling. That's interesting. Uh, no plays, okay. They don't have a two drop, that's kind of interesting. Ooh, Heart Sliver, I would like. I almost want a Winding Way just for land, but then I'm like pretty, actually that's kind of good. Let's Winding Way for land. And that's why. Because I've lead the Stampede as well. No, what did I hit, four creatures? God, no! <laughs> That feels so bad. I could have hit drawn the gem hide sliver too is what I needed. That hurts. All right, winding way. Well, huh, these things happen. Probably we're gonna take a lot of damage. I don't think I'm winning this one. Wow, I'm not attacking with Atog. Okay, they got some big boys, and we are severely mana limited here. Spinneret sliver. Not really the one we wanted. Uh, I feel like I basically just have to cast Heart Sliver and then hope to top deck a Gemhide Sliver to have any chance of winning this game. Because I'm going to take 8 and 
there, there's just no way. So gem hide sliver into like a bunch of virulent slivers is kind of our only answer, I think. They could even attack with Atog here and just force us to lose. I am totally fine with just one Carapace Forager attacking. No, that is not what I wanted. Uh, so Atog, that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I actually have to chump block. Rough beats. Yeah, because they could just make this have a bunch of power and kill me. They might still be able to do it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I'm dead to a Galvanic Blast, or a Fling, or a Teemo Battle Rage. Basically any spell. Okay, I'm not dead. That's good. If they had just played Star Pre-Combat, they could have killed me there. Alright, I need Gem Hide Sliver, and that doesn't even really do it. I think we're just going to go to game two. <laughs> we... I guess we attack with these, and then Chump Block here. Take eight. We still died a Galvanic Blast, but that was the case anyway. And then we could like potentially, let's say I played Muscle Sliver. They'll attack for three. That's nine. All right, we're dead. On to sideboarding. Yeah, I wasn't really sure. Uh, so I don't really have much of a sideboard for this game. Uh, Reach doesn't matter, but Ping doesn't matter. So I guess we just bring in Blade back and call it a day. We just got a race and that's really our best shot. All right, I'm gonna go first. Let's just race. Uh, we have a lot of one drops. If I draw a green mana, this hand is really good. So I'm gonna keep, because we're pretty, like most of our cards are green and all of these one drops plus a virulent sliver can kill really fast. And if we draw green a little bit late, we can like ping them to death off, ping them to death off bladeback sliver and they mulligan, which is also somewhat good. Really want to see a green mana here off the top. Okay. Well, it's a one drop. A little bit sketchy, but sure. Um, I'm just going to play the Striking Sliver and then the Automaton. We got a lot of First Strike blockers, which add up, right? If you have a ton of First Strike dudes and you, like, stack them all in one guy, it's really hard for them to get in for damage. <laughs> and then they just play a 2 mana 4-4. Four, four. Okay, there's our Forest. That's pretty good. Reeland Sliver, Bladeback Sliver. Now I just need to draw like a Gem Hide Sliver into Winding Way or something. I'm not gonna attack. Um, we're gonna start pinging next turn. And that's like a pretty fast clock. I mean, they could bolt it, I guess, but. Springleaf Drum. So currently they can't attack. They would need double Lightning Bolt to be able to even attack for damage. Beautiful. Uh, are they very, very close to just dead here? I can swing out. They might have a Galvanic Blast. So I guess I cast this. If I swing out, they can block here and then take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 poison. I think it's better just to be safe and ping them with blade back because I could just swing for lethal next turn and th that would sacrifice like one of my good creatures if I do that. Because they can easily just have Springleaf Drum Galvanic Blast. Then they block a Sliver, Bolt a Sliver, and then I'm in trouble. And now they're kind of stuck to kill this, but then I have Virulent Slivers, which can just kill them next turn. So, kind of no matter what they target, yeah. It's pretty bad. So this is, this is why we went with this play. Frogmite, you got it. As long as they don't have a way to kill Bladeback, we good. And obviously we're terrified of Electricity, but there's not much we can do. Gear Seeker Serpent. That's a big boy. We can still technically first strike that down, if need be. <laughs> um, opponent is now tapped out of mana, which is nice. Interesting they didn't want to crack the stars to try and hit lands. Alright, let's do it. If Poisonous actually stacked like this, that would be super busted. One to face. One to face. One to face. Oh, look what we drew. Winding way. So I'm actually going to hold control and kind of want to ping them down. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because I don't have a turn, two turn clock. So I don't really want to block with this. Maybe I just ping out. But right, I take five, nine, ten, eleven. They would need so much to kill me. Yeah, we'll just do it all. Name creature. 
a metallic sliver. And then muscle sliver next turn means we can just attack for lethal, probably. So, as weird as it is, uh, drawing winding away next turn would be like the worst thing. Because then we couldn't empty our hand. Your enforcer is big boy. They really need to be cracking these stars. So I need to just draw a land. Or a one mana sliver. Basically anything I can get out of my hand. A land is ideal, I believe. Or a gem hide sliver would be pretty good too. No. Gem high sliver would not be good, because I can't uh, actually hit them for 7. I think they're going to lightning bolt the blade back, which will be problematic. Then I do want winding way. Actually, no, land doesn't let me kill them. Yeah, I only have 7 slivers in play. Let's see, if they attack with these two, they have... Okay. Well, I did not draw land, so they're lucky. No good attacks. My blocks are decent, though. Man, just anything there would have been great. So we're in the exact same position. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So they have one red mana available. So we can block to play around a Galvanic Blast. Okay. Uh, I guess I go like that. I'm okay. Let's see, with this block, I want that alive. Then the rest is kind of sketchy. So. They can either play Galvanic Blast or Team of Battle Rage. Right now I'm getting hit for 12, 17. Um, so this can hit for 10. I don't think they can actually kill me here. One, two, three, four. And then I guess double block here. So if they have Galvanic Blast on Muscle Sliver, then we just no then no we still have first strike here so we just lose uh these two and this and then we can just kill them on the backswing i think because it'll be one two three four five six all right they scooped yeah i was just trying to think of what i can play around teamer battle rage and galvanic blast is the worst but i think this plays around it pretty well so on to game three it is I, I wish I had more time, like they had played it out, because I don't know what the correct blocks there were. Clearly, it looked like they had nothing. Man, we've been kind of cursed with some no land hands. Let's mulligan. I'll keep this one and put back a forest. We can like empty our hand very quickly and just try and ping them out. That's kind of our best shot. Winding way is like decent. Okay. <laughs> Every time you just name a card, it just shows up. That's just how the game works. I. I was going to say, it'll be pretty good if they don't have any creatures, but they're playing Affinity. Of course they're going to have creatures. Oh, okay. We're not. Uh, let's attack for one and then just play two automatons. Strange. Or one of each. Always play around Echoing Decay if you can, because these are the same card, at least as regards to Popper. I guess this has other creature types, so maybe that'll... I'm trying to think how that would ever come up in this particular deck. If my opponent was playing something that like all creatures of this type get pumped. I don't know what does that besides slivers in Pauper. Um, in like modern and stuff you can get hit by... Uh, what is that card? The card that's like name a creature type and all creatures of that type get minus one, minus one. Whoa, what is going on over there? Alright, let's attack for a bunch. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, I kind of want to... I mean, if they're being this slow, maybe they have Electricery. I'm just going to play a Blade Back Sliver. I don't know what's in their hand or what's going on, but... Let's just develop the board, I guess. So they Galvanic Blast the Blade Back Sliver, I imagine? Yeah, sure. Maybe they just have a bunch of bolts and they're not that scared of Virulent Sliver. Okay. Alright, alright. We probably have to just Winding Way naming land at this point it's getting kind of ridiculous they don't have red mana they don't have blue mana it's winding away naming land no god all right well that hurts <laughs> why me man why me they might still die i don't know what could possibly be in their hand a bunch of red cards maybe all right <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's... No, wait, no, that's just their fault. Hang on. Everyone watching, this is important. They could have 
Cracked Chromatic Star to play an Atog, and then use that red to Galvanic Blast. That is actually really funny though. Yeah, they were fine if they had just used that Chromatic Star properly. Well, we beat Affinity, but they played it wrong, so see you guys next round. Alright, we're playing against Mango Pop. We're gonna go first. Uh, so we can turn one Ash Barons for a forest. So this hand seems okay to me. Say hello, good luck to our opponent. Start it off. Oh, we're on the play, that's even better, and they mulliganed. Um, we have another option that actually seems kind of better. I can lead off on turn one Striking Sliver. Then if I draw a land, or a forest in particular, I can just play Predatory Sliver and like this curve is better. If I don't, then I can just Ash Barons for a forest and play Universal Automaton, and then that ends up pretty good. So I think this maximizes it, because otherwise we're planning just to have no play until turn two, and then we're going to play a 2-2 two -two on turn two. That's not that great. Like, playing Predatory Sliver is better with creatures in play already. Heart Sliver. Not all about that, so we're going to land cycle this for a forest. Play the forest, play the automaton, hit for one first strike damage, pass turn. How did opponent scry? One bottom, one top. I, I never even have to look anymore, that's just how it always is. <laughs> Ooh. You know you're not doing so good when you're main phase brainstorming. Unless they follow it up with Evolving Wilds, then it's okay. Yeah, good enough. Blue, green, interesting. I'm excited to see what happens here. Alright, we are just going to start playing some big boy slivers here. Um, first strike means we can attack into most things, and next turn we're going to attack for 9. And then the following turn we can start playing hasty dudes, like that seems great. Gem hide sliver is always a good top deck. Because I can go gem hide sliver, heart sliver, muscle sliver. And that's just very explosive. Alright, if they want to hold up counter spells, that's fine. Um, so I can play heart sliver, or I can play lead the stampede. I feel like I'm going to cast this card because it's less important, so if they counter it, I don't really care. But it also sets us up for next turn. Sure. I will not pay three. Yeah, so I'd much rather have that get countered than any of the rest of the cards in my hand. Opponent still takes six, falls down to nine. So Muscle Sliver next turn is just lethal. Basking. Okay, this must be like blue-green madness. And they can't even pump the Rootwalla. Ooh, that's nice. So let's lead with Striking sliver because that's less important yeah and if they counter this then it can play muscle sliver but if they don't have any counter spells then they just die okay i think they're just dead swing out nope they go to one okay fair enough <laughs> trying to think what card okay they didn't even shuffle they're just dead all right uh on to sideboarding they're playing some weird madness stuff i don't really want to change my deck too much if they're blue green madness Maybe something like Fire Slinger would be good against um, the Root Wallas. So we're going to get rid of... I don't think I need Reach. Famous last words. I'm going to bring in some Fire Slivers for Bladeback Sliver. We'll have like two for now until we see what their deck actually does. Oh, this hand seems pretty good. It's a little bit slow, but we still have the, um, the combo of turn one Metallic Sliver into turn two Muscle Sliver. And I don't really need to like worry too much about drawing a red source because... With green, we have like gem hide sliver and stuff like that. So it's a lot more likely that we can do everything we want to do. Plus it's, with at this rate, it's pretty likely we're going to winding way for land. So we can hit red that way. I just want to make sure I can curve out, you know? We're focal leader. All right, we're bringing in a lot of the pingers. Predatory sliver lets me attack. Winding way sets up for next turn. I like getting down the sliver now. Having pressure in play when my opponent's most of their interaction seems to be based around counter spells. I like better. And this is a lot better if we draw lands too. Because then I could just go like Muscle Sliver or something. Yeah, that's a forest. So what do I do here? I kind of want to just play another Muscle Sliver. That's like what this deck does. Sure. Hit for six. They can uh, flash in a Root Walla but they can't double block or triple block with it. So like end of turn root wall, I don't really care that much about. Next turn, there's a good chance I go winding way for land into winding way for creatures, depending on what I draw. If I hit a land, then I'm just set, but okay, opponent has green now. So they can pump the root wall to a three, three and Rancor, okay, that's pretty sweet. Um, We just kind of have our, we can do whatever we want here. 
What's winding way? Oh, they can circular logic. That's definitely something that can happen. All right, well, I'm still going to cast winding way. If it gets countered, so be it. Uh, I almost want to say land, as weird as that is, because I have winding way and lead the stampede. But creatures got to just be better for the late game, right? Like, we'll just never run out of stuff. Yeah, play the automaton. And attack with just the metallic sliver, I think. It's either just the metallic or all of them. And I think it's just the metallic because I have striking sliver as soon as I hit red mana. Okay. They're going to play another root wallet, maybe? Nope. This is going well, I think. Discarding wild mongrel. I'm trying to think of what good madness payoffs there are in green besides the root walla. Okay. Uh, I think at this point I'm going to winding way for lands. If they counter this, my turn's very slow. Yeah. Pay five. Nope. Do I want to trade off with the looter? I feel like at this point I just attack with everything. They're going to lose a looter. I lose a muscle sliver. They take six and fall to six. And I have double lead the stampede. Sure. I should have swung out last turn, I think. They would just be like dead here. But it is what it is. There's the root wall. Uh... Yeah, I don't know if that was correct. I think putting them to six is good. But with the first strike sliver in hand, maybe it was better to wait. Oh, werebear is sweet. Okay, I kind of like this now. Forest. So let's lead the stampede. Because I can't actually cast any of these red creatures. They can have circular logic again, and that's okay. Yeah. Alright, things are getting actually a little bit dire. Go. But they can't really attack too well either. They have six cards in hand. <laughs> okay, that's a big boy. Alright, take the damage. Yeah, so Wild Mongrel can just grow as big as they want it. Uh, let's play the Automaton. They can counter this. The thing is, will I ever get them more tapped out than they currently are? Because lead the Stampede, if this doesn't resolve, then we're in a very bad position. But they don't even have to, like, I think I have to cast this. If they counter it, then we probably just lose. Okay. Um, nope. Need some red mana, please. Now I know what their deck does. This deck is actually kind of sweet. It's like all about madness and threshold and beating down with werebears. Yep, so I will take... I could also double block, but that seems kind of bad. Because I kind of need slivers in play. Another werebear. Yeah, we're dying really fast. Fortunately, we get to be on the play next game. Muscle sliver is good. More circular logic. Okay. No. Uh, I guess they could still hit circular logic. Yeah, that's probably just game. I'm not going to concede because I'm... My opponent could attack wrong and I can like heart sliver them to death. But like they just swing with these three. I have to chump block at that point. That's not great. Actually, they could swing out and I would have to chump block a lot. Okay, I'll take it. I think I'm just dead. Yeah, okay. Never hit red mana. That's fine. Um, do you have any changes? So reach doesn't matter. Blade black sliver seems okay. Um... I think I'm just going to keep it the same. Like, Fairy Macabre can exile their graveyard for circular logic, but that doesn't matter too much. We're going to go first. This hand is bad. It's close, but it's bad. This hand is pretty good. Just get rid of a land. We can really make some big boys really fast. And their deck is slow. That's the one thing we have going for us. Circular logic takes a long time. Counterspell is turn two. And they mold the five, which is really bad in a deck full of merfolk looters. They can get us with Force Spike, I guess. Ooh, that's good. All right, let's go with Muscle Sliver. Okay, I was like, you can't have Force Spike in your deck, right? And they don't. I'm not sure about all these instant speed brainstorms, though. All right, let's hit for two. Next turn, if they tap out, I think I'm going to go Gem Hide Sliver into Winding Way. Wild Mongrel. Yeah, that seems right. Gem Hide Sliver. Cast Winding Way for Creature now, because I have Gem Hide Sliver for mana. Seemed like most of their interaction was uh, counterspell based. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be pretty good. The old two mana draw four, casual. They need to find, like, something very soon. Also, if I find the Haste Sliver, it's kind of just game over. So I'm 
it feels like they never mind. I was gonna say it feels like they have circular logic up, but they almost certainly don't. Ooh, mountain was good. So let's go with predatory sliver, make all these three threes. I think I'm just gonna like play out my whole hand here. Play blade back sliver. And blade back means we can just kind of kill them. Let's add uh, green for automaton. And I think I just want to keep playing stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> Got a board full of dudes and you're playing blue green. Not really much you can do to play around this in your deck. So they can counterspell, but sure. Let's go metallic sliver. Let's go gem hide sliver. Let's go with gem hide sliver. Uh, tapping predatory slivers, I guess. Are they dead next turn? One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, but like pretty dang close. I think if I attack with my three threes and then ping with the important things, they're probably dead because that's 12 damage. So they have to trade a card for one of my slivers off Wild Mongrel. Take nine, find a way to kill the blade back sliver somehow. Wow, they didn't even discard a second card. That's really good. Yeah, so they're just dead to this card if they can't remove it. And the best part about this is this ability has like haste. Like they can bounce it, but then I just replay it and then all my other slivers tap for damage. It's pretty good. Same targets. So they're at 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh look, they're dead. Muscle sliver, sure. GG's. Ah! Uh, one to you. Are they really gonna make me do this? <laughs> Alright, you got it. Save targets. Save targets. Yeah, actually recording right now. Save targets. No, I don't want to clear all the targets. Save targets. Oh, I see. It's the same for each type of sliver. Alright, good game's opponent. No! <laughs> so hard. Alright, uh, see you guys next round. Alright, we're playing against TD card 28. Told my opponent good luck. And this hand is kind of medium, but I will keep. It has all of our mana and two predatory slivers is kind of nice. Plus, being on the draw, we could draw one mana sliver. Um, hopefully we don't draw the one mana red sliver. Well, actually, any any one mana sliver is great to draw because um, we could play it turn three, and that's nice. Uh, a little worried about counter spells. Oh gosh, all right. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a very challenging match for the opponent, but we'll see. I've not played against uh, Mill in a while. We're gonna Ash Brands for a Mountain. I guess I do that in response to any Mill because I don't know how many mountains I'm playing, but it might be five. It's probably more than five, but why risk it? All right, we're getting milled again, so yeah, let's get some red. Uh, their 4-4 four, four blockers will do quite a bit. Okay, so we, we have, I believe, six mountains. So if they had milled all of our mountains, there will be no red sources left in the deck. <laughs> Speaking of, what? It's not fair. That would have been nice to draw. Okay, Automaton is great. So we know we drew that. I'm going to play Bladeback Sliver here because it attacks just as hard as a Predatory Sliver, but if they have, like, no way to kill it, that's good and stuff like that. Now what? This is the, the fundamental problem with most burn decks is, like, all these burn spells are just worse than Lightning Bolt. So you're, you're basically playing burn, but instead of dealing damage to their player, you're doing deck damage. So you start with like 53 cards in your deck. So you're going to have to use like, let's say this mills four, right? You're going to have to cast 10 plus of these to actually mill your opponent out. I know over time they take damage, so you might have to cast like, okay. So doing 53, you're going to have to cast four times 13 to mill them out, which is not that, that's 13 spells, right? Burn struggles to hit seven spells to kill them. And they have like a bunch of sources of repeatable mill and stuff like that. 13 spells and like this is one of the better mill cards. It's just like so not viable. So if you want to do mill, you pretty much have to... Uh, you pretty much have to 
find some like repeatable mill source, something that like mills three every turn or stuff like that. What is this? Thought scour me, sure. Like thought score is kind of good because it draws a card, so you're not down anything. The rest of them are a little bit suspect. Um, next turn, I'm gonna be able to go predatory sliver and heart sliver and hit for like a million damage. That'll be pretty nice. No point in attacking, they can just block. Yep, getting hit by Tome Scour. Oh, looks like they have a counter spell, maybe. Okay, uh, let's lead with. I don't want to run Predatory Sliver into a counter spell, so let's play the Automaton and then Heart Sliver. That we can just swing with all of the boys. Then if they counter the Heart Sliver, it's fine. We play Predatory Sliver next turn. Sure. Take four. The other benefit of this is if this resolves, they won't even be able to block the Bladeback Sliver which I like quite a bit. Uh, we do help them by casting Winding Way, but I'm really not that scared. So if I draw Winding Way, I'm just going to cast it. It's like our opponent has three cards in hand right now. If they have three Th Thought Scours, or Tome Scours, they can mill me for 15. And that's still nowhere near enough to kill me. See, now that, they mill two cards. See, now that's kind of interesting. I kind of like that. But we get to do this, and that's probably just game over. Because uh, Sage's Road Denizen plus Merfolk Secret Keeper means the Secret Keeper mills six. And if you have multiples, then I'm kind of interested in that. But just play blue creatures then, don't play Tome Scour, right? You can run like Ghostly Flicker, Mnemonic Wall. At that point you're playing Familiars, and with that's why Familiars is a good deck. So they have to block one. They're just chump blocking. I'm, I'm okay with this, they go to one life. I'll play the land so I'm hellbent, so I can just kill them in my upkeep, they can't even fog. Actually, yeah, now they can't ever win, because they need to mill me out. Even if they mill me for 32, then I can just kill them on my upkeep. This card looks sweet. I never actually looked at this artwork before. Yeah, mill four. You got it. Alright. Uh, I'm just sideboarding. What do I bring in? Probably nothing. Uh, I don't care about reach, so we get rid of spinneret and bring in bladeback. I don't care about Fire Slinger, I don't really care about pinging anything, so we're just going to run it like that. Alright, uh, If I draw a single land, I'm going to keep this. Virulent Sliver is so busted anyway, like... I just go turn 1 Virulent Sliver, turn 2 Virulent Sliver. Even if I don't draw a single land this game, I can just, like, go off. And if I draw a land, they're dead on, like, turn 3. Which is also just... <laughs> quite ridiculous, to say the least. No, they milled my lands. I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, okay, we're fine. Real and Sliver go. Next turn we're gonna go Gem Hide Sliver. Uh actually. Depends on what they do. If they just cast the Secret Keeper, I might No, we're gonna develop our board. Gem Hide Sliver into a second Virulent, and then just go off the following turn. Opponent is uh just casting a blocker. Okay, so we're not going to play the Virulent, because there's no point. Yeah, sure. Main phase brainstorm, I don't mind. I don't think I've ever lost to one of these, uh, like, burn-style mill decks before. Famous last words, but, like, they just don't seem strong to me at all. And green, cast another virulent. That way if I draw more virulent slivers, like, that's poison for days. Okay. So the 2-3 means I can't attack with my current slew of creatures, but that's okay. Because we can find more off Winding Way. The most fair card ever. And I'm just going to name Creature because I don't think they have any removal. So Creatures are basically like mana anyway. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's just play all our dudes. And then they die to poison next turn. Sure. Especially if we can find this liver that gives haste. Uh, I guess they don't directly die to poison. Sure. What was I going to draw? I believe a land. Okay. No, they milled the Virulent. Okay, they're holding up three mana. I drew a mountain. I don't really want to get Winding Way countered. What if I just swing out? They can kill one Virulent Sliver and then take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight poison. Sure. Yep. Eight poison it is. And then uh, I'm going to lead with a Metallic Sliver. If they want to counter it, sure, then I could just play more Metallic Slivers. I could just hold Winding Way for later on. What is that three mana for then? Okay, I think they're just dead. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Sweet. All right, see you guys next round. All right, we are playing against Dylan West 22. Let's go first. 
keeping this for sure. This is a hand that can empty itself very quickly for Bladeback, but also refill itself with Winding Way. So I'm on board with all that. Start off with a Striking Sliver. This card is like actually deceptively powerful because it lets you just trade off in combat so well. It's weaker to Electricery and like Mass Removal, things like that, but it is kind of good. So we can go Forest, play Gem Hide. It might die, but that's not so bad. Add green for a Virulent. Go. And if they don't have a way to kill Gem Hide, they might die. What? They killed. That is surprising. They didn't kill the Gem Hide Sliver. I guess the goal is to like leave me with no like good slivers. Kind of weird though. This looks like Mono Black Control. Uh, we're gonna Winding Way for some creatures. Beautiful. Muscle Sliver was kind of what I wanted to draw. And they know about it, so I might as well just deploy it. Gonna play that, gonna play the Automaton. Next turn I can play both of these. And if they play a blocker, start pinging them down. I just really want to empty my hand to also play around Chittering Rats. Because that card is kind of backbreaking when you're low on uh, cards in hand. Ooh, blood. Okay, so they kill my Muscle Sliver, not the end of the world. Ooh, that's good. Predatory Sliver. So I can hit for six. Um, I think it's better to hit for two less and get a blade back sliver into play. But I think hitting for four here is better. Ah! Is it better than just playing a gem hide sliver? No, we'll just play them all. Because each one of these basically represents two damage next turn. And it protects me against Crypt Rat or Chittering Rats. Crypt Rats is a problem. They could just like play Crypt Rats this turn and then just wipe my whole board. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, and this is better if I draw another Predatory Sliver on my upcoming turn. Um, because then all these attack for three, and that is actually lethal. If I draw a Predatory Sliver and they don't have anything, they just die. That's kind of sick. And it's good against Chittering Rats. Yeah, I like this a lot better. Tendrils on you to gain four. Okay, that's pretty good. Gem Hide Sliver. All right, we attack. Um... Yeah, if they Crypt Rats, like, if they go Swamp Crypt Rats for two, it's not like holding this Gem Hide Sliver is going to save me. Um, I think just playing this out is better against many of the other things they could play. Plus it represents exactly lethal next turn. Alright, this looks like a uh, Gary... Oh, Gurmag Angler, okay. Well, now the Haste Sliver is lethal, a Muster Sliver is lethal, Winding Way is probably lethal. Forest is not. Um, hmm. I think I attacked them down to... Right, one, two, three, four, five. They're gonna fall down to four life here. So I lose my striking sliver, they go to four. If I attack like this, they go to two. I feel like putting them to four and keeping predatory sliver is better. But it's worse against opposing removal. Alright, they scooped. I don't think it mattered too much, but it's worth thinking that through. Um So reach has not mattered very much. Let's put in blade back and I want to just be as fast as possible. I'm on the draw, so this actually seems okay. All right, we're on the draw. Got a mulligan. Oh, I gotta keep this. Any forest makes this hand like completely busted. And I guess I just, <laughs> I'm gonna keep a hand of zero castable cards because like, yeah. All of these cards are really amazing. I just have to hit a green. I think this is correct. Um, it's very sketchy, but we have so many forests as opposed to mountains in the deck that it's better. And I don't think keeping like a one mana one one uh, <laughs> is really going to help us unless we draw a green mana anyway. So this is where we're committing to drawing green. We will probably win if we draw green next turn, and we will probably lose if we do not draw green next turn. Okay. Well, that's awkward. Um, the benefit of this is opponent probably kept a removal heavy hand. Chittering Rats would just be the worst thing ever. Alright, I will play a Heart Sliver. It's gonna die, but let's play an attack for one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, here's where the Chittering Rats just kill me. I think that it was still worth a gamble. I had like five draw steps. Okay, Crypt Rats is scary but beatable. I mean, if I never draw a forest, then I'm not, not going to win anyway. Ugh. Yep. Alright. Well, 
This is gonna be a grind. I defend this keep wholeheartedly. We knew the risks. No attacks. I'm just gonna get Chittering Rats to death. It's so backbreaking. Yep. The nice part about this is... Chittering Rats, like... Them in play means they can't really Crypt Rats down my creatures. So that's kind of good. The downside is it means they cast two time walks with a body. Chainers Edict my sliver, you got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just dead. There's like, they can hit me for five and then Crypt Rats can just like finish the deal. That's pretty bad. The, the rough part is their hand was so slow too. Great Merchant, I don't think there's a draw in my deck. That's brutal. All right, well, calculated risk. Um, how many fours do I have in the deck? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. We're just going to run it back. All right, we're going to go first. We're going to race them. We're going to have a good hand. Uh, yes, I will keep this. Um, so what's more important? Turn to Predatory Sliver? Or being fast. Point Mulligan to six. So we're playing a forest here. The question is, do I play Universal Automaton or not? I think I do, because I have Striking Sliver as a follow-up if I don't hit an untapped land. So like, I can, um, if I draw a land, I can play Predatory Sliver and do everything. If I don't draw a land, I can Ash Barons for a mountain and still do everything. So that seems okay. Yeah, this definitely got to get red here. Well, if I die to mana problems, I'm, I accept that fate. Next turn, probably just going to jam Predatory Sliver. I'm playing around Edict Effects pretty well. Come on, deck. Where are my lands? Maybe I play Bladeback Sliver. Because if I play, play Predatory Sliver and they Defile, it's kind of bad. Oh, they only have one Swamp. All right. One Swamp means we can do this. Disfigure would hurt, but we just got to hit for as much damage as possible. And then we just, we need to draw an untapped land. Well, all of our lands are untapped. We need to draw a land eventually. Geth's Verdict. All right, I will sacrifice the Automaton. Ooh, are they missing land drops? I can work with this. Magic Gods, give me a land. Or a Gemhide Sliver. But Gemhide would require tapping my two attackers, which I don't like. This is unreal. Um, we're going to play the Haste guy. Hit for a bunch. Really need a land. So now what? Well, if we're both missing land drops, that can only be good for me, I would imagine. Because the lower their life total gets, the worse Crypt Rats is because they're going to have to like take a bunch of damage in the process. No, they did hit a land. OK, I missed it for some reason. All right, I need to, I need to draw a land. I can't. Uh... Whoa, that's gross. Yeah, all right. That's pretty good. Ashes to ashes. All right, let's play Bladeback Sliver. If I'm not going to draw land, Predatory Sliver is probably the better one I can draw. Um, I want to play this because if they have an Edict, I'd rather have this die than Predatory because Kumbaj Witch is, is scary. Come on! <laughs> ah! You got it. So... If I play Predatory Sliver and attack... I mean, I have to play it here, but... Can I even afford to attack now because they just double block or they block and ping? I don't think I really can. It can block nicely though. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to draw a land and then lead the stampede is going to be five lands. That's my prediction. I actually kind of want that to happen because the, the clip evidence is worth... They didn't want to kill the predatory sliver? That was weird. They didn't ping it? What is going on? That was weird. That was very strange. Uh, still haven't drawn anything, but now I can play Striking Sliver. And that means I can attack with this Blade Back. Uh, I can't attack with this because they just blocked there, but Blade Back I can attack with. Okay, so they're going to unearth the Chittering Rats. That's not so bad, actually, because it takes their turn, and I still can play a Heart Sliver and then attack her for a bunch. Oh, okay. Well, they just do that. I mean, it's brutal, but they're at seven life. So we play Heart Sliver, and I think at this point I just swing out um, because they take at a minimum four. 
But then they can Kumbaj, which is my predatory sliver, right? They just block and then ping. Okay, this works because they have to trade for any of them. Actually, they would be trading Kumbaj witches for Predatory Sliver, and that would mean they would have to chump block with Chittering Rats. So, like, let's say they block here and ping. This chumps, they take 5, 6, they go to 1 life. I like that. And they have no creatures in play. First Strike is strong. Yeah, okay. I think they... In, I don't know what went on with that Defile, but... Um, who needs lands, right? So I was going to draw Ash Barons, I was going to play Lead the Stampede. It would have hit two. Okay, not so bad. All right, well, we won on two lands. Uh, a couple of misplays from the opponent, but we beat Endless Chittering Rats. So uh, that, that was pretty good. Let's go back to the deck now and talk about what I would change. Um, the sideboard, I never really used, but I think that's just because the matchups were weird. I don't know how I like these uh stingers but i would prefer all of my sideboard cards to be creatures that way winding way and lead the stampede are still like great options and i think i think the ping is worth it spinneret sliver does seem quite nice it just makes everything i own like block like delver and stuff like that um i never tried out the essence warden but that's there for burn i don't know it seems good anyway that's gonna do it for this deck let me know if you liked it and if you'd like to see it in a full league because it, it felt competitive. I mean, I didn't lose a single game. So we'll try it in a league. Why not? Let's do it. See you guys then.